here in Budapest at the Lunar Connect and uh, these are the 96 boards, hello. Hello there, hi, my name is Ian, I'm director of 96 board in Lunar. And uh, so there's a lot of activity going on here at the 96 boards. And uh, who are you? Hey, uh, Robert Wolf from 96 boards as well, community manager uh, handling uh, open hours most recently. The weekly show on YouTube, people can watch. Yes, actually, it's every week on Thursday. Uh, you could check the countdown at 96boards.org slash open hours. I'd suggest giving it a look. It changes every week, so we have uh, new episodes, new, new guests every week. So uh, why is 96 Boards uh, the perfect solution for <laughs> developing community? Well, we like to think it's perfect, but obviously there's a lot of things we could do. That's things we could do much better. But we're on a very good ramping path. So right now we're looking at, you know, 40 plus of designs either in, we know that in progress or in plan. More than 40. More than 40. 96 boards. That's including these kinds and those kinds? No, that's actually the, the, the board I'm just, number just recorded is only talking about the main boards. We didn't even count starting to count the mezzanine and boards yet. So this is really exciting for us because one of the, you know, the reason we started this initiative in Linaro is because we want to have an open platform specification supporting the latest and greatest ARM technology SOCs. So and it's all this size? Exactly. So the, the, the CE specification, those are the board made for CE specification, is a standard size CE. In fact, we do have another form factor, which is a CE extended form factor as well. And this, we can see on the other side? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Right there? Yeah. So, uh, and that's going to allow for more stuff? It's just double yes. the size, right? Uh, yes, well, more often, yeah. So more often than not, that the certain applications, certain segment market, you would require different, uh, you know, more connectors and functionalities. That's what we allow additional form factors to be supported. And we also obviously have 96 boards, uh, uh, you know, IoT edition. That's much smaller size, you can see from here. And we have a, a line of which that those are the boards which you announced. Because uh, Linara are doing uh, all kinds of work now with the IoT segment. Indeed. And uh, uh, it's uh, useful to standardize around the IoT SOCs, right? It's mostly Cortex-M? Yeah, actually, uh, that's an interesting question because uh, even though you saw this board in particular as an IoT form factor, this is actually Cortex-A device. And okay. which is this chip? And uh, this chip is from RDA. This particular chip is from RDA made by Orange Pi. And uh, this stuff is coming with extremely interesting uh, capability and also very competitive pricing point, uh, you know, under $10. So that's uh, kind of like a powerful IoT chip. It is very powerful I IoT device and, um, and I would say the low end gateway device as well. So um, how come is uh, 96 board so successful in terms of convincing so many SSC makers to join this and, and start making these and announcing them, making them, developing them? Well, I would love to say it's easy, but it's not, right? So in the beginning, uh, so we have two partners working with us with two of, one, two of the 96 boards, being uh, Hikey and Dragon Ball 410C. Um, I think what is interesting is how quickly, and obviously thanks to, thanks to my staff with very hard work, and also all the colleagues and uh, engineers in Linaro and in around the community supporting us, but um, we did witness a very interesting trend which is slightly different to, you know, you would say the last, uh, last episode of the SOC, de SOC and the application development based on top of which, uh, people are now more interested in focus on the application, the features, the functionality, what they wish to choose and would like to be able to have the opportunity to evaluate the CSOC capability before they actually commit, uh, especially when it comes down to mass production. So it's useful to have the same kind of like base and then be able to compare. Right. So, I mean, the, the, the core, uh, you know, philosophy, if you, want, if you wish, we have behind 96 board specification is about standardization and the differentiation. So we, are, we do not, you know, want to actually rip off the opportunity to, for SOC to differentiate itself from one another because that's the key of the success of us or our member SOC vendors. But at the same time, we will standardize well, it doesn't make sense to differentiate. It's the feature every developer would, want, would wish to uh, you know, see on the proper development platform. And as, as every as makes sense for every SOC vendor to do the same thing here. In fact, that's actually in the blood of Linaro as well. And you've been seeing 42 episodes, right? There's lots of, uh, lots of things happening. Yeah, no, in open hours, yeah, lots of things happening. I'd also like to add a little bit to, to the last question is the, the, the value add of people joining 96 Words as a program uh, in general, you're getting 
a huge ecosystem and, a, and an ever quickly growing ecosystem around the 96 boards product line. So you can kind of see in front of all these, we also have these mezzanine boards. And I wanted to point these out because when a 96 boards is created according to the specification, you end up joining an already existing uh, uh, ecosystem right and you can see all these these uh mezzanines yeah. i don't know if you wanted to talk a little bit about that no, too let's show yeah. one or two yeah okay yeah go ahead yeah so here we have one from arrow this is the link sprite and it comes in a kit you get it with uh, ser uh several sensors uh move it around here a little bit for yeah. you but as you can see it plugs right into the low speed expansion header you have an opening for the high speed expansion header in case you still want access to that and because it was designed around the specification you end up being able to use it with pretty much any 96 boards consumer edition board. And you can see it just kind of plugs in and can be transferred across any of these boards. Uh, the value add to any new vendor who wants to come in and build the 96 boards around um, what we've already created gets to basically jump right in and get to use these right away. So um, it's definitely a plus. And you can see all these mezzanines kind of um, have different functionalities and breakouts depending on what the, the, the company or, or maker wanted to do. So how do you convince all the SOC makers that this is the right way to go? Well, mostly we, um, we talk to them. And uh, in fact, right now the conversation is both ways. So we have been discussing uh, about the concept of have a, a community accessible hardware or platform which allows developers having access to the latest and greatest SOC or MCU technology those you know, man as, as chip manufacturer has to offer. And in fact, the more you know, now more and more SOC vendors realized that they are seeing the benefit of which. They are seeing actually the possibility of being able to change the previous design in only approach to actually allow the, the you know, small makers and all the design house can actually choose in the LC. But after, uh, you know, evaluating, after all the evaluation work has been done, after the comparison has been done, they are confident about the differentiation which brought out from the chips. I can give you a very specific example. Uh, this one particular SOC vendor came to me just about a couple of days ago and say, uh, they did a 96 board and uh, with, in the beginning, uh, but what, uh, with, you know, with, with some doubts in his mind, but actually, after a period of time, you know, a, f a period of time, what uh, he has witnessed, uh, which I can't quote the figure or name here, but he has witnessed it, is measurable SLC, you know, volume sales increase, which to us is music to our ears because that's exactly what we want to do to, for our members and for those SLC vendors. Um, and also, that's generating a lot of, of derivative design, which has the part, clear parts of production, and that is one of the key difference between 96 boards in this crowded SBC market. So there's lots of developer boards, but you're trying to uh, make it kind of like a standard. Uh, right. So it's easy to, to, uh, to add differentiation on top, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's that. Uh, people see standardization as, uh, you know, as, a, as, as a, the other you know, opposite direction in terms of differentiation, but we don't. We think by resolving you know, the Linaris mission is trying to defragment the ecosystem, uh, the what has been, uh, what has been, probably I, I would say that um, uh, from the beginning of the uh, of, of this uh, ecosystem. But what we did realize, based on the lessons we have learned ourselves, is there isn't such you know we can work along encourage standardization and also uh, encourage uh, differentiation at the same time. It's just uh, how we to do how we approach that. And 96 board is a perfect example how Linara took that approach is we standardize the things where it doesn't make sense to repeat the investment by every single SLC in our um, um, ecosystem. We want to do it once and for everybody who, you know, who work with us. And then everybody can really focus on their in investment and to try and, and on, those part, on those part of differentiation which really matters. And so that's what 96 board is about as well. And some of the chip makers uh, think it's so cool. They are launching the 96 boards at the same time as the chip is being released, right? right. And they're even launching the chip on the 96 boards first, right? Yeah, I mean, that's actually something, again, it's very, very encouraging information. Uh, very recently, we have a few boards which was announced uh, either the same time or right after the 96 board was announced at the same time or right after the commercial launch of the product who using that chip. And uh, to the point, uh, you know, in this month is, 
our keynote, uh, our CEO keynotes, so one of the boards which we announced. And this is a new, brand new chip. The, the, this chip is currently being engineered sampled. It's not even commercial sampled yet. It's being announced on a, a community available development board. Obviously, that, that shows the SOC vendors confidence and also willingness to engage community and um, so so that actually shows that uh, we do have you know we do have a lot of confidence from the SOC vendors uh, today who understand and are uh, understand our thinking in terms of trying to approach uh, the developer community and they want to be part of the family and a part of the effort part of the Lenaro family they part become of the part of the Lenaro family by supporting this, part right? Of they don't, part of the open source community. Yeah. They don't even have to be a member or a club member or anything. They can just release boards. Anybody can do. Well, we do, I mean, we do have a strong recommendation that uh, if you do, if you want to produce a 96 board, if you want to be part of the effort from the beginning, we, you, you, the SOC vendor need to be part of the 96 board uh, group. So that is something which we are, uh, you can see on every single board we brought up. So, um, but in all those 42 episodes you've done, there's, there's still, it's, it's, it's still the beginning, right? There's still a lot of things people would like to see. Still the beginning, we're just getting started on this effort, and uh, you, based on the growth, it's something that we're gonna keep pushing really hard, and, and this week, in fact, we're gonna have several announcements. I've been talking with uh, Chauvin, who's done a lot of help in producing this whole effort, uh, and we have some really cool stuff that we're hoping to push out tomorrow during the episode that will emanate uh, throughout the rest of this whole series. So there's lots of stuff to happen this year, 2017. It's going to be very busy on open hours, right? Year of the 96 boards. That's what we're it's calling it. It's going to be lots yeah. of episodes. That's 52 in a year. That's, uh, yeah, there's going to be lots of episodes. Lots of episodes, lots of guests. Uh, I mean, and, and what I like to consider, or what I like to look at open hours is as a channel for the development to meet community, right? So this is... This is the ultimate way for, for you as a community member to be heard. I mean, you know, we're, we're moving real fast. You can get involved. You can move with us, uh, develop, learn, and, and basically just be a part of this, this awesome movement. So the guy uh, from CNX Software, he asked me to ask you uh, uh, about software support. Right. And uh, um, uh, what's it called? How, uh, is there potential that more of these will get even sooner, faster software support for like running all kinds of Linux on them? Uh, oh, that's a very good question. I mean, obviously that uh, we, you know, it's a strong, Linux is a software, software organization. And uh, we strongly believe that is not going to be a good development platform without good and proper continuous uh, software support. So that is what we believe in. And uh, we do see two different categories of 96 board being brought out. One are uh, those being uh, obviously past our compliance uh, in terms of hardware and documentation features we require and in the specification. And the ways the vendor pre provide, all community provides a software build which are not maintained by Linara and uh, ourselves. And there are another group of board which have very good and uh, upstream status and, um, and have very good support in terms of the, not only the SOC itself, but also the periphery components of being upstream driver, upstream. Uh, this cross different distribution from Android to Debian. And we are engaging with all major distros and the all com and community behind it. In and c so we certainly would like to see the uh, more and more analysis board becomes in that category, which has a good linear uh, support and software with up, good upstream status, but we do uh, realize and appreciate sometimes that our you know, community board which is satisfies specific purpose for the specific segment, and that is a 96 board community board. That's why we, how, how we differentiate. there has been a five, six year struggle already for Linara to try to uh, make things easy on ARM, right? Like, uh, <laughs> like where you should just make it boot on whatever ARM you get. You just get the stuff, and it just works on any. Isn't that kind of like the dream? Well, obviously, that uh, for, for for Greater Linara, we we have been working very hard. It's not an easy to, a problem to solve, but we believe we have uh, changed the situation a lot since we started. Uh, in fact, we have contributed a lot and um, back to the uh, mainline kernel. And continuously, and in fact, I think we were the top number one uh, contributor in the 4.9 kernel. 
Um, so yeah, that work hasn't finished. That work, um, I wouldn't, uh, you know, we continue to push forward. That's a lot of work to be done. That's uh, the more SOCs, more variety of SOCs as ever coming out on every single day. And because of the, the bar to actually produce SOC has been much lower than previous, you won't argue. And thanks to ARM and this, it's, and this updated architecture. So yeah, I don't think that we have finished the job, but. We have, uh, we, have, we have been working very hard. We have done a lot. There's a lot more to do. Uh, we are very excited. And uh, we hope 96 board and the platform brought out, that uh, SLC enabled about well, this platform will be a great vehicle to allow us to continue that software engineering and make it better. So in, the, in this year, 2017, potentially, it's going to be a very historic year in the 96 board's community, right? It's going to be... There's going to be some, some uh, really exciting well, for stuff. Well, it's every day exciting, right? <laughs> yeah. And you have lots of discussions with all the partners here at Linear Connect. Oh, yes. And they all have, like, suggestions, and let's, let's do this and that, and potentially they, then you have a ne new spec, right, at some point. Right, right. So, yeah, that's, uh, so we, we continue to, you know, uh, receiving a lot of attentions and a lot of uh, uh, comments and, um, uh, you know, how to help, well, mostly are trying to focus on how to help us to going forward, how to us improve the area we, you know, we're lacking. And but one of the commitments to Linaro and the Linux Expo we made from the outset is that we are committed to enable the latest and greatest ARM um, SOC. With that, actually, SOC technology keep moving forward and uh, very, in a very rapid speed, uh, pace. We, the specification, we believe, is a lie thing as well. So the specification evolution has always been on the uh, 96 boards, uh, you know, the initiative, and has always been something which 96 boards steering committee and uh, has been managing uh, carefully. So that's something which we, we have been considering. We are gathering a lot of feedbacks along the way. And yes, at a certain point of stage, we will be trying to roll them in together and uh, at uh, a good time, also consider the compatibility as well and have the specification evolution uh, you know, process carried out. Because the ARM industry is, is growing crazy fast and there's, uh, there's so much new stuff happening and new exactly. chips and there's 10 nanometers and it's tiny and it's super low power. Exactly. So much performance, uh, more memory bandwidth, more, so many different features uh, and uh, uh, some new kind of like connectors potentially and all kinds of things right. people would want to do right so uh, you're going to be enabling the cutting edge not not the so that's the yes. it's, it's important to be in a cutting edge yeah right i mean to one extent we are, you know we are uh, for example as i said our reference hardware so we are on the mainline kernel right we are on and there's a lot of technology we are building up on the bleeding you know we are at bleeding edge so that's a, you know that's nothing to shy away from that fact and yes, and you know, for example, uh, the, I mean, a lot of people talk about USB Type C. Is that exactly something we already consider in the spec? If you uh, the, go back and check out the specification, we already consider Type C, but we're probably making the, a stronger recommendation in, in many cases. The thing that we have, uh, we believe change is good. We believe that the specification should evolve, and uh, you know, the same time as uh, SOC technology evolves itself. So. Uh, that's something which we committed to keep bringing out to the to the uh, uh, you know community and in a managed managed fa you know manner. We don't want to create more fragmentation. So the compatibility, uh, compatibility is one of the key issues here. Cool. So lots of work, I guess, in the remaining days here at the Lenar Connect, and uh, in the near future to get everybody to agree on on the f the right way forward and uh, getting huge traffic to the show that you're doing. Hopefully, Hopefully yeah. So yeah. I mean, you know, you can see walking through the event, you've been doing it for the last couple of days. Everyone's really excited. Uh, I mean, with the keynotes that are happening, all the announcements on Monday, uh, we're definitely moving forward in the right way. And uh, some of the smartest people that I've ever known right here deciding on, on, on the right path. So uh, definitely.